Hi, I'm Amber Kenny, and I'm with Gateway Research Organization. Um, as we're coming into this this time of COVID-19 and social distancing, there's a lot of new words being thrown out there. There's a lot of new technologies being thrown out there that we've all kind of had to adapt to and get to know and get used to. Um, some of the technology can be really hard to pick up on and to, to figure out how to use it, what you're doing with it, what's actually out there and what's what's going to be useful going forward. So one of the things you might have been hearing is about Zoom. Um, a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm in a Zoom you later. It's become its own verb. But with that, um, Zoom is one of those like online meeting platforms. So much like you might, if you use Facebook, you might have used the video chat or maybe if you have an iPhone, you use video chat. So what Zoom is, is it, it's much like that. However, it's more in a meeting format. So you can have a lot more people online at the same time. Um, and you can choose whether or not you're going to show your video. You can choose if you want to actually um, speak. You can have your microphone muted. And this allows us to actually talk to one another and still be able to, to connect and kind of feel like we might be in the same room. So I'm going to go through the very basics of just how to log on to Zoom once you, you receive that initial meeting invitation and what you do with that and how, how to work out some of the technical difficulties that might come from using these programs. So if you're interested, keep on watching and we will go through this on my desktop. If you guys have any questions going forward, please feel free to call us. Um, my phone number is 780-307-7849 and I'd be more than happy to help you connect in any way possible. Hi, okay, so what we're looking at here, um, I've opened up my email program now, and this is what a Zoom invitation is going to look like. So as soon as someone wants to invite you to a meeting, you'll you'll see a screen something like this. So in your inbox, um, this gives you a lot of information, but there's only a couple things you really need. So the first thing is the date and time. Make sure you take note of this. You're not gonna be able to log in until the time is close, until the person that's hosting actually joins the meeting and starts the meeting. Um, so from there, the other thing that's really important on this is this. This link here is what's going to let you join the meeting that you're, you're getting into. Um, so in some email programs, you're going to be able to just click on this link. In this program, I'm not able to. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to right click. I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to open up a new tab. And paste that link onto the new tab and press enter. So when you press enter like that, you're gonna see this screen and it's just going to go through the run through and you'll see this. So if you have not yet used Zoom, it's unlikely that you actually have the app downloaded, which is okay. You don't need the app to run the program. However, it does let you get into some extra features. So I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this. If you don't want to download the app, if you don't want to, to have the program on your computer, you can do this and start from your browser. Now what this will do is it'll let you just get into the program from your internet screen and nothing is downloaded onto your computer itself. So I'm going to click on that and we'll go through this first. So once we click on that, we're going to see this, and it's going to offer us to either join by phone call or join by computer audio. Because I'm sitting on my laptop, I'm going to join by computer audio. So I'm gonna click on that button, and then I'll see a screen like this. So I am now in the Zoom screen, um, where you can see my picture here is the main screen. So you'll either see the speakers that are talking, or you will see a uh, whole bunch of different people. Whoever's joined into the meeting, you'll see them in a bit of a tile um, scope with either their video cameras or with their pictures. So at this point, there's two buttons on this screen that you're probably going to use the most. The first one is the mute button. So it is just common courtesy to keep your, your mute, mic muted until you're actually ready to speak. So you just as simple as clicking that or unclicking it. Um, then you're muted. The other button that is quite common to use is the start video button. So you don't have to be on video when you're in Zoom, which is a really nice feature. Um, if you've woken up and it's 6.30 in the morning and you're joining a meeting, you might not want to be on video. So in this case, I do want to be on video. So I'll click that button. And then what happens is I just see uh, an image of myself here in the, the corner and 
and we can make that smaller so that we don't have to look at ourselves if we don't want to we can make it bigger um, so and then if we want to stop sharing our video just again click on that so the other thing that you're going to want to know here is the participants if you want to see who's in the room with you um, you click on this participant button and you'll get this this side screen so currently it's just myself um, but if there were five other people you would see their names here you can also on this screen click raise your hand and what that does is it lets the host know that you need to, you'd like to speak so they can call on you this is often used in a little more formal settings especially if there's a lot of people on the line and then you can just lower your hand again uh, so the other thing that you can do with this program is share screen so if for whatever reason you have a PowerPoint that you want to share or something of that nature that's what you can do here um, as you can see I can share my entire screen which would share anything that I have open on my desktop uh, I can share an application window which if it's a PowerPoint or just pictures or something I could share just that without showing the rest of my desktop and then you can show your share your internet tab as well and the chat program so this is another way of contacting people within the meeting room without actually having to use your voice and unmute your microphone so just in here you would type you know test and that's going to let people know what you want to say and you can respond to people without actually interrupting the meeting um, the other thing that you can do in here is you can make it so that you're just talking to one person so instead of everyone I want to just talk to myself privately and that'll send just the one person the message so that not everybody sees it so often if there's a problem with the meeting settings or if you're curious about something maybe you want to message a host or a co-host and you can do that without everybody seeing what you're saying and that's really the majority of what you can do within the website version of this so I'm going to leave meeting so when you're done you just click on that leave meeting button and that's it that's zoom on this part of the on just the web browser now let's say that we want to download the app instead when we log on to zoom so you're going to go back to your email this is the same thing we were looking at before, the same type of thing. So we're going to have the topic, the time, the date, um, and then we're going to have the link that we're going to click on. So I am going to highlight it, right click, copy, open up a new web browser, and paste it in there, and press enter. So you're going to see the same screen that we saw previously. Uh, the only difference here is that rather than clicking join from our web browser, we're going to click download and run Zoom. Now this really doesn't take too long. You'll see, depending on the, the web browser you're using, you'll see something like this wherever your downloaded programs come. So I'm going to click on this. Um, it's an unbeatable file. And then this is going to open up. So it doesn't take too long to download the Zoom app, which is really nice. You can do it on the go even if you're in a bit of a hurry um, so we're just going to wait for this to install I feel like we need a drum roll or something in the background maybe some music always pauses at that 90% mark So as soon as this is finished, we're going to see another screen pop up. It's going to look very similar to the web browser. You will get a few more features and then you're able to, to save some of your settings as well. If you created an account, you can have your picture on the screen. Uh, so my name so that people that come in will know me. And I'm joining without video. So we're going to join with computer audio. So again, this looks fairly similar to what we saw earlier, just in a different format. So join with computer audio. And we see the same buttons for the most part. So the mute button, the start video button. Um, if you're having sound issues at all, this is where you're going to find it. So just in this, this settings, um, test your speaker or microphone, switch your phone audio. So a lot of different things in here. The video is kind of neat. There are some different things that you're able to do within this, this side of things once you have the app. So you can choose a virtual background, which I don't have any currently on this for some reason. 
Um, but if so, you can make it look like you're in San Francisco or in space or something fun like that. So I'm going to close that out because I don't want to do that. So again, you see the same things. You see the participants, uh, you have the chat program, the share screen. The, with the app downloaded, you're able to record, which is a really nice feature. So if you're getting into a meeting and you know there's going to be a lot of really good information given, you can hit that record button and it'll request, you have to ask the meeting host in this case. Um, sometimes they'll have it set up that you can record, other times you will have to get them to allow you to do that but it is an option. Uh, there's also a reactions button, so if I want to give myself a thumbs up, I can do that. Um, so yes, this is the app. The other thing that's here is you have the gallery view, or the you can enter full screen as well. So just different things that you can play with. So the gallery view will make it so everyone shows up in tiles, and the speaker view will make it so that just the person speaking shows up. So in a nutshell, that is Zoom. And again, if you have any questions, I would be more than happy to help you with them. Uh, feel free to reach out or feel free to even just reach out and say hi. It's great to connect with people in this time where we're all feeling a little bit isolated. So thank you.